South Korea will not be further easing restrictions. The pause on a return to normal life comes amid a spike in COVID-19 infections. Instead, the government will focus on speeding up booster shots while securing more hospital beds. Kim Min-ji has our top story. South Korea will put on hold the further easing of restrictions in the next stage of a return to normal life and rather focus on speeding up vaccinations in the next four weeks. President Moon Jae-in announced a decision Monday during a special meeting on the nation's COVID-19 response. The country started easing its restrictions as part of a gradual return to normal life in early November and has since seen the number of new daily infections hover between 3,000 and 4,000, while the number of critically ill has topped 60. That said, the government will expand eligibility for booster shots to those aged 18 to 49 who have been fully vaccinated for at least five months. Reservations start later this week. And while schools will stay open nationwide, the government will be focusing on vaccinating more students and later lower the age to 12 years after taking into account what's been done in other countries. In response to the shortage of hospital beds in the capital area, all those infected will be allowed to recover at home under thorough monitoring, with the exception of serious cases. Once infected, the patient will undergo a check of a medical institution and receive a kit for home care, such as thermometer oxygen saturation tester. We will also consider more financial aid given the added burden. We're also working to secure additional 2,000 hospital beds in the metropolitan area to prepare for a surge of patients that require hospitalization. The government added that further discussions will be held on potentially cutting down personal gatherings or applying new restrictions to cafes or restaurants in consideration of the impact on the economy and inconvenience caused to people's daily lives. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.